Here's how to create a MIDI groove template using an audio loop as the source for the groove. So I have a two bar audio drum loop loaded. So I'm going to convert the feel of the kick and snare into a MIDI groove. Make sure the object is selected, which it is. And I'm going up to Object, Quantize, Audio Quantization Wizard. You have a choice between percussive or universal for the detection algorithm. I'm using universal for this. Next, I'm dragging the sensitivity fader to the right. The red AQ markers have now appeared on the kick and snare transients. Back up to the menu item, object. Quantize. Extended audio quantize. Create MIDI triggers from transients. A new MIDI trigger object has been added below. I'll close the Auto Quantize window now. I'm now double clicking to open the MIDI editor. So you can see the MIDI part has been created. The MIDI is unquantized because it's reflecting the groove of the original audio. If you double click between any of the MIDI notes, all of them will be selected. I'm now right clicking in the horizontal panel area above the MIDI editor. I'm now choosing Edit. Create Groove Template from Selection. So that automatically opens the Grooves folder, which is based in the FX Preset folder of the Samplitude Pro X Suite folder. I'm going to create a new folder and name it Drum Grooves. So I'm going to save that template as Groove 1. Now observe when I click OK, the grid lines of the MIDI editor will snap to the actual MIDI notes. There you go. So that's the groove template saved. So I have a MIDI part I recorded earlier which I'm selecting. And I'm going to use a new groove template to affect that MIDI part. So I'm right clicking on the quantize button to open the global grid quantize settings. You can see the groove is now displayed in the horizontal window showing the bars and beats and the position of the notes. Plus the groove one I created is in the Q grid list. I'm left clicking on the apply standard Q button and quantizing the part I created earlier. So that MIDI part has now inherited the feel of the original audio drum loop based on the MIDI groove template I created. So the two parts should now complement each other. So that's how you create a MIDI Groove template.